In this video, we are going to study about the pectoralis minor muscle. The pectoralis minor muscle is a triangular muscle and it lies beneath the pectoralis major. The axillary artery is divided into three parts by the pectoralis minor muscle. The second part of the artery lies behind the muscle. The upper border of the pectoralis minor muscle gives attachment to the clavipectoral fascia and it is accompanied by the superior thoracic artery. The lower border of the muscle gives attachment to the suspensory ligament of the axilla and it is accompanied by the lateral thoracic artery. So here you can see the pectoralis major muscle which lies in front of the pectoralis minor muscle here you can see this is the upper border of the muscle which gives attachment to the clavipectoral fascia and it is accompanied by the superior thoracic artery along the lower border it gives attachment to the suspensory ligament of the axilla and it also accompanied by the lateral thoracic artery the axillary artery is subdivided into three parts by the pectoralis minor muscle. Next we will see the origin. The muscles take origin from the third, fourth and the fifth rib, not from the costal cartilages and it are also arises from the intervening fascia covering the external intercostal muscle. So when you see the insertion, the muscle converges upward and laterally to form a flat tendon and it is inserted to the medial border of the upper surface of the coracoid process. So the medial border of the upper surface of the coracoid process is the insertion of the pectoralis minor muscle. So the highlighted in the pink color is the insertion of the pectoralis minor muscle. So occasionally a part of the muscle may be continuous with the coracohumeral ligament. Next we will see the nerve supply. The muscle is supplied by both medial and the lateral pectoral nerves. The medial pectoral nerve supply by piercing the muscle. Next we will see the action assisted by the serratus anterior muscle the pectoralis mus minor muscle protracts the scapula so now you can see this is a protraction of the scapula it also depresses the shoulder so this is depression of the shoulder next we'll see about the subclavius muscle it is a triangular muscle it arises from the junction of the first rib and the costal cartilage and it is inserted to the groove on the under surface of the middle third of the clavicle so here you can see the highlighted part is the origin in the pink color so it is the it takes origin from the junction of the first rib and its costal cartilage and the insertion is whichever highlighted in the blue is the insertion so it is inserted to the groove on the under surface of the middle third of the clavicle nerve supply it is supplied by the nerve to subclavius or the subclavian nerve it is a branch from the upper trunk of the brachial plexus carrying the fibers of c5 and c6 so this point is called as herbs points Next, we'll see the action of the subclavius muscle. It steadies the clavicle during the movement of the shoulder joint. Next, we'll see an occasional muscle which is known as the rectus sternalis. So, this is the rectus sternalis. So, this is disposed longitudinally along the side of the sternum and in front of the pectoralis major muscle. It is a derivative of the superficial part of the rectus abdominis muscle and it is supplied segmentally by the intercostal nerve. So this is a picture of the dissected specimen. 
here you can see this is the pectoralis major muscle so in front of the pectoralis major muscle a longitudinally disposed muscle this is called as rectus sternalis